Hello my friends, welcome to a brand new vlog. Here's my fit. It's a mess. Although I feel like all I do is clean. These are, what are these? They're BP from Nordstrom. Fuzzy hair is mine. Hudson jeans, Nana Republic, Gianni Carini. We're gonna go to Nordstrom, then we're gonna go to grab dinner. It's a beautiful day outside and I spent it all day inside working, but this is my fit. I'm done with my period, so I just feel very schmopey. So this is what I look like. I'm not putting any makeup on. I'm wearing my fake YSL earrings. I could spruce my face up with a bit of NYX Fat Lip Oil. If you know, girl, you know. It gives me some color. Oh my God, I look pale and I need to wash my hair tomorrow. I'll show you guys my nighttime routine the night before I wash my hair because I'm gonna castor oil the crap out of my face. Let's get on with the weekend, shall we? Happy Friday, happy day. Let's pray that this weekend doesn't go by in a flash like they always do. Well, we had this wine last Friday and it's terrible tonight, I would say. But look at us, we're outside. How nice, we're outside, it's nice out. We're drinking wine even though it tastes terrible, but that's okay. It's okay. Because we're not melting for once outside. Amen. Amen. Good morning, my friends. I'm sorry. I did not show you my skincare routine last night. This is like the week after my period, and I just feel like super schmopey. When your body just feels so tired that it just feels heavy to move, that is how I'm feeling. It worked out. I did not take you along with me. I was so into my workout routine for the first two months. I, I feel like I say this in every single vlog, but... I'm doing Sydney Cummings, her summertime fine fitness challenge. It's a three month challenge. Three month challenge. I do it every single summer. This was the first summer that I, this is my planner, legitimately purchased the calendars. I did all of May. I did all of June. Currently on how many days? There's like a legend here. How many days do I have left to stay responsible and consistent for my goals? I only have 16 days left. I'm not really feeling motivated. I think that the timing of July, it was like the first week was PMS. The second week was period this third week is the week I just feel like the way that it falls within my cycle I feel a little like burnt out a little blue down and out I, I mean we talked about how I just I thought this summer was gonna be so much fun and a lot of it really has to do with my mindset like you guys know I love the beach house it's like my happy place but I don't know what it is like I'm just waking up and I'm not in the mood to really do anything and I'm not enjoying my workouts when I go to work I have to wake up and I have to do my workout because I'm not gonna work out when I get home at 7 p.m. Sorry, my hair looks insane. It looks very red too. Do we see that? Mm, I love it. But like on the days where I work from home, I'm not gonna lie. I usually wait until lunchtime. So instead of like sitting down and making a healthy breakfast, I'll, I mean breakfast, a healthy lunch, I'll do like my 30, 40 minute workout and then log back onto my computer and eat like a protein bar. I'm not like romanticizing it. And I'm just saying that cause I don't know how else to explain it, but I felt like I was so proud. I'm just, I'm tired. And I think waking up and working out is the best way for me to kind of like start my day in a good headspace. So woke up today, a new face to get me started. So I did that. I had one cup of coffee, collagen coffee, 20 ounces of water while I was working out. And one of my subscribers, love her so much, Faith. She told me to have protein shake. So I worked out, I made a protein shake because I'm just like not in the mood to eat. The only thing I've been in the mood to eat for the last week is Nerds gummy clusters, which I would show them to you, but I finished them last night. I was sitting there on the couch with Mike and was like, I cannot wait until I'm done with this bag because it's so much sugar and I'm not a candy person, but those just thinking about them, like my mouth waters are so good. Very processed, a lot of sugar, and that's probably throwing off my motivation, my feeling heavy. It's probably like throwing my body into whack. I was feeling really good. Like I had a lot of energy. I was motivated. I was like making to-do lists in my planner, go, go, go. I'm just not, I'm not. We're gonna spend the weekend down the shore. It is currently Saturday. We might go pick up my Fendi belt, TBD, but they told me they're only gonna hold it for two weeks and they send it back, so. You're coming along with us. We're going out to dinner. We're trying a new Italian place down the shore. I don't want this whole vlog to me be to be me, whoa, to be me sitting here at my vanity just talking to you looking like this. I wanna look cute, I wanna do things, I wanna take us places. I'm trying to raise the vibration here. I just really don't wanna shower and wash my hair. Surprise, I'm back where I said I didn't want to hang out with you. Not that I don't wanna hang out with you, but just like, oh, 
my bra's gonna come out today. I really wanna try those boob stickers that I bought. They're literally right in front of me, but like, it's just hot and I don't feel like sticking them on me. I'm wearing my little Amazon hair turban. I might blow dry and then curl it. I just feel like the Dyson didn't really last in my hair last weekend. I just think like in this heat, nothing lasts for me. My vanity is a mess and I just thought we could go through the things that I'm really not using and kind of just get rid of them. All of July, I'm feeling so unmotivated and I'm feeling so cluttered and I'm feeling anxious about all of the clutter that's around me. I haven't worn this outfit in like maybe two summers. I've put all of the clothes that I have not gravitated towards in this closet behind me. You guys know I have my closet in the master bedroom. That's where I keep like all the things that I wear mostly on repeat. Although we could really purge that again even though I feel like it's a never ending purge fest. For instance, today I'm gonna wear this outfit and if I don't enjoy wearing it, I'm gonna donate it. Let me show you my vanity. I'm hoping we can just like narrow this down a bit and I can just like get rid of things that I really don't use. But this is what we're working with thus far. I have these little plastic organizers that I bought on Amazon. I still can't find the damn charger for those two facial devices. I'm so annoyed, but here's all my skincare, lip care. Then I have foundation. I have cream blushes, cream bronzers. This is like my creamy section, powder blushes, powder bronzers, powder highlighters, this powder that I never opened. I think it's like shape tape powder. Highlighters, like all of the powders. This I like don't use, this Tati thing anymore. So I don't really know if I'm gonna keep that. This is the first highlighter I ever bought and it's so pretty, but like, I don't know. It's probably bad now. Eye stuff, products I use the most. So that at the end of the month when I do my little favorites video, I can literally just go sit by the window, pick this up and do my makeup. Although I've been failing. I just haven't really been throwing anything in here. I don't know why I need to think about it. And then these are like utensils, like my beauty sponge that's in here. I really don't use sponges. Hair clips for some reason, I don't know. I have mascaras, brow gels, I don't know, more brow stuff, brushes. Then I have all of my lipsticks, lip glosses, my empty cup of coffee. I just, I don't use a lot of this. And then I have all of this in here. But I don't know if we're gonna get to this today. We will get to this eventually. I was going through my collection and I just wanted to show you that you can use things for other things. I bought this Gucci brow pencil and I hate it. Like it was so good when I first got it. I don't know what happened. I just feel like my taste in brow products has changed. Sharpened it and I used it as a lip liner and it looks really natural. I kind of just don't like this. It's like a good lip contour shade. I'm gonna keep this because I don't wanna throw this out. Like it's wasteful, it was expensive. I'm just gonna use it as lip liner. Like look at that. I really think that these glosses are bad. Should I just try it? Oh, that's a pretty color. This is in Amber Lifter Glosses by Maybelline. I decided I'm gonna do kind of what I'm doing with my clothing and I'm gonna try and sit down here every day and use newer, not newer, but like products that are on the fence. So we're gonna do one round today and then maybe we'll do another round um, in August, a month from now. So like maybe September, we'll do a deep cleanse and get rid of everything else. I have a pretty good pile of things that I'm gonna get rid of in front of me. I'm gonna get rid of this too. This I don't like. And I think I'm gonna get rid of this. This is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy. It's such a pretty color, but it just, I'll put this on the shopping block. It just like dries my lips out to no end. What I'm getting rid of, highlighters, Merit, Smells Terrible, and Ciate Dew Stick. I've had this for like years and years and years, and I haven't used it enough, honestly. J-Cat glitters, they're like iridescent glitters. It's just not me anymore. And I open them and they kind of don't really look like they're okay. And I've had them for a lot longer than 18 months. Just looks like chunky monkey monkey to me. Kind of looks like they kind of like dried up and solidified into chunks. Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I've had this for a really long time. It's hard to put product on top of it. And if you put product underneath it, like if you use a brow pencil and then fill in above, it takes away from the brow, brow pencil. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I repurchase this all the time, but look at like this. Look at that. Can you see what's happening? This has gone bad. This is 12 and I have not had this for 12 months. So I need to throw that out though. I'm also gonna get rid of my Milani Fruit Fetish Make It Last. I've had this for like maybe three years now. I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter. These are just both long lasting setting mist and I think I will repurchase this. So I'm gonna get rid of this cause it's bad and I've had it for a really long time. I'm also gonna get rid of this About Face Lip Gloss. It's not me. It's like very shiny and like coppery and I, I don't know. I'm also gonna get rid of this SkinCeuticals that my facialist gave me. It didn't help any of my redness. It just irritated it more. Honestly, again, Faith, 
she gives me all my good tips, but she told me to get the Sika pair, which I use over top when my face is flaring up. But honestly, I think it was like a lot of drinking, specifically wine. I believe she told me that sulfurs make my skin flare up. I've gotten a really good grip on it. Although I do think like allergies in the air for some reason, every time my allergies are bad, my face flares up. But anyway, Rodeal, they just, it makes my face like slippery, slidey underneath my makeup and it makes me look greasy. This is what I use to gua sha my face. I've had this forever. There's not a lot left in it, but it smells interesting. I'm gonna replace the Face Hero with the Collagen Superfusion Facial Oil from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm also getting rid of my Maracuja Juicy Lip. It's not for me. I like a gloss more than I like this kind of like solid thing. And I don't know if you can see, but she just, she's seen better days. Um, and I don't gravitate towards her and she is really old. So I'm gonna get rid of this as well. Here is the top of my vanity. I didn't really go through these. Honestly, I really wanna like condense the brushes, curate a more high-end collection because I really do love drugstore brushes, but I just really gravitate towards my like hourglass ones, like this one, or oh my God, this one. So like, I don't know, I think I wanna like redo the collection, don't need what I don't use and maybe like curate a new kind of like minimal brush collection. But look at this, we have a lot more space in here. I have this whole thing back here where there's nothing in there. And then in here, this looks better to me too. A lot less in this drawer, a lot less in this drawer. I'm gonna power through this for the next month, see what I use, see what I don't use. This is kind of just like miscellaneous. Like I will never get rid of the Wanted palette because it was discontinued. It's been one of my most used palettes. Honestly, I take this whenever we travel. I haven't gone anywhere recently, so I haven't used it. I really just like don't reach for this anymore, but it was gifted to me. It was like such a big moment in time. This has sentimental value. Again, I really just don't use use highlighters so I just don't gravitate towards it but maybe I will. I'm gonna test and try like maybe I'll try and use this. My hesitation to throw this out is that Tati Beauty no longer exists so if I did kind of want to use a powder puff to apply makeup down the road I wouldn't be able to get this exact one and hers is so soft like the fibers in this are so different than say the fibers in this like this is like puffy and this is like soft i can't explain it to you i didn't get rid of a lot but i got rid of a decent amount again we will tackle this together but that's like a monster that i don't have in me today but let me show you the outfit ignore the mess around us rule number one if you're watching this video we always ignore the mess because it's forever a mess but this is a two-piece set that I bought quite a few years ago. I highly doubt I'll be able to find it, but I'll try and link something similar down below if you're interested. I tried to wear a nude bra. Then I had a yellow bra. I thought that this would blend in better. No, I just, I can't get this to sit correctly. The boobs that I bought, <laughs> These are way too big. I don't think that these are meant. I'm pretty sure this is a one size fits all, but these are too big for my chest. I'm supposed to like put them in and then like lift them and tape them, but you could see the tape up here. So I don't think that the shape is correct for the outfit. Granted, they don't work with every outfit and every outfit requires, I guess, a different um, pasty as it would a different bra. So these were not for me, but the set also came with like little pasties for your nips. So I kind of just put those on. So I did no lifting, but I did a little covering, which I guess is good because this material is definitely see-through up top. I wish we could all have a chat and you could tell me through the screen, but like, I just don't know which bag to wear. Like I really, I love these Gianni Carini bags. I feel like this needs like a pop of something. It goes and it's cute, but it's just like really feeding into like the hobo vibe of it all. This beaded bag, which I kind of want to take because I haven't worn this in a couple summers as well. And I just, I really love this bag. She is banged and bruised. Like I've had her for a really long time. Inside of her has a ton of makeup and she's just disgusting. But like this could be a vibe. And I'm also thinking these shoes, which my sister bought me for my birthday last year. They're from Dolce Vita. I love Dolce Vita shoes. Like very luxe, but at a really good price point. So I'm thinking like maybe this bag to make it like casual, but like cute. Or do we just like elevate it all? Which I think this has been my vibe recently. I'm just trying to elevate it all. A Valentino rock stud, different than the one I wore last week, but it has a crossbody option. This does detach. So I could like, we're gonna go to the mall, I think, and pick up my Fendi belt. <sighs> so I should wear jeans to the mall. Okay, this changes everything. I think I'm gonna wear this outfit to dinner. 
Am I though? I don't know, I feel very confused now. Cause I should really wear jeans so I can see if the belt actually fits me. I was gonna wear these shoes to the mall, these little sandals so that I don't have to walk around in heels and give myself blisters because I wanna wear heels tonight. But if I give myself a blister, then the heels are out. But these are from M. Jemmy. They're just like woven sandals that I've had for, I think this is the second or third summer that I've had them. Wearing the knockoff YSL earrings that I got at that street fair um, in the city that I honestly love. Mike and I went to dinner last night. Obviously I, I brought you with us and he was like, oh, I really love the earrings. So I'm loving these earrings. I'm loving the vibe, but I think I need to change out of this. I need to wear some jeans. So give me a second, I'll be right back. Well, you know what, while we're at it, I was also gonna wear this little jacket to dinner later, just because I feel like it might get chilly by the shore. But I've been wearing this a lot. I've been wearing all of my Goelia jackets a lot, but this is just the knitted one. Oh, it's so cute. I really love it. I was gonna return it and I'm really glad that I didn't. Laid back luxury, very like Hamptons chic. So I was thinking like this would be the fit, for tonight, maybe? What do we think? No, this is not the fit with the heels. I'm wearing the heels. I'm trying to get back in my heel game. I used to wear heels all the time, and then COVID happened and I stopped. But I'm thinking this is the vibe for dinner. Again, I wish you could let me know in real time, but like, what do we think? But I need to put jeans on, so this might all get washed. Okay, I feel like this may have worked out for the better. This is actually the top that I bought the boob things for because I just don't really like how my chest looks in this. The nipple covers are helping a little bit. I don't know, but it's really cute. I got this at Banana last year. I bought it in white and I bought it in black. And then I'm pretty sure these pants are from Banana too. So this is a full Banana Republic. I'm pretty sure Factory. I think I got them both from Factory. I'm wearing again, my Vince heels. I just really like these, they're super comfortable. I wore them to the mall last week, walked around had no problem. I would normally wear a belt, but I'm not gonna wear a belt because hopefully my Fendi belt will fit me and I can just wear her home. This is the fit. Um, and I like the all white outfit. I just, I was vibing with the fit I was wearing before, but honestly, I think that this is more me. I just think like a casual kind of look is more my vibe, but what do we think? Like this top is so nice. I just wish I felt more confident in it. I don't really, I don't know, but that's why I have long hair so I can just hide. The tatas. What do we think? Let me know down below. Same earrings, same makeup. I'm loving the Gucci brow pencil as a lip liner. I don't know why I didn't think about this earlier. I like the pop color. I like this bag with this fit. All right, but let's go. Let's get the day started. I can't believe it's 12.45, although it has been like a very productive day for me. Um, yeah, and if you have any boob sticker recommendations for those of us on the itty bitty titty committee, please let me know because my, uh, no shade to those of you who have a chest, I'm a little jealous, like I wish I had a bigger chest, but this is like as big as my face almost. Um, so just like devoured them and didn't do anything, but I really love these pants and I haven't had a chance to wear them because it's been so hot. So I feel like we kind of shook out to a better more me fit in the end. So this worked out well, I'm happy. Well, she said she, said she was gonna stop shopping Clearly, we did some damage. Oh, sigh. Not me. I did. Well, I mean, honestly, I you're involved. Damage. You're involved because you said that you liked it and you told me to get it. So, you were half of the blame. But I'm happy with. I'm happy to blame you. To be honest, I'm happy to blame you. Yeah. figured we'd do my unboxing in my favorite place. Mike and I just got down here. He actually went to just go mow the lawn, so if you hear him, I'm sorry. He was like, I can't believe you brought like your Fendi bags down here. And I was like, yeah, because I have to show my friends what we bought in the happiest place on earth, AKA the beach house. Let's hop to it. I'm very excited, but also like a little, ashamed. This is the first bag and there is nothing in the bag because in true fortune fashion, no pun intended, I am wearing the belt. So this is the belt that I bought. Now, do I technically need anything? No, I technically don't need a damn thing. However, I wear belts all the time. I love designer belts. I just think like if there are a few pieces that you're gonna splurge on, I think a belt is worth the splurge. And I also think a handbag is worth the splurge again because a belt, like I could 
could wear this multiple times a week. A handbag, I could live in a handbag for a week at a time. I decided to go with this one because I really love the belt buckle. I just feel like it's so smart looking. I love the double Fs. I hope the lighting is good, but should I try and bring you over here? Maybe the lighting is better over here. Super cute, I like the gold. You just like this, like this. And I really like it and it is something that I needed in my collect. I didn't need it, but I'm just gonna say that I needed it because it was a void in my closet that I wanted to fill. You know, I don't have nude belts and you guys know I've kind of been gravitating a lot towards neuter clothing, neuter pieces, which brings me to my next purchase. This was an impulse buy. You bring it a little bit higher so you're not like, do we go any higher than this? Maybe not, maybe not. All right, let me just grab the bag. I saw it in a distance and it was like, <sighs> I don't really know if we like really care about this. I know I don't really care about this. I would leave the store without any of the accoutrements just because I feel like it's a waste. I end up like recycling all of it, but should I ever decide to resell this, I guess I, the box would make it more valuable. I don't know if you would guess that this is what I got. So I got this little baby bag. I just really, oh my God, I loved the colors. I've always wanted a Fendi monogram kind of like piece because obviously my name is Fortune, my initial is F. And like growing up, always like struggled to find things that had my initial, like I just feel like there's not a lot of names that begin with F. It's the reason why I bought the Fendi earrings. Um, I just, you know, Fortune, F is for Fortune. Let's sit, let's chill. Let's see if the lighting is a little bit better here. Yeah, this is better, I think. Okay, so this is her. You can wear her a multitude of ways. None of the ways are the preferred way that I enjoy handbags, which is why I'm a little shocked that I got this. Last summer, literally like a year ago, I bought a larger size bag that has the, it also has this on the bottom, the Fendi on the bottom, but I bought a pre-loved one in like an olive kind of taupey shade. It is so beautiful. It is one of my favorite bags. So when I saw this, I was just like, I have to have it. I like the shape. It's like a moon shape. How they were displaying them in the stores is this. So you put it together like this and it looks like a fortune cookie, which fortune Fs, fortune cookie. It's just, it kind of sold me. So she told me that you can wear it like this, which is super cute, but like, I don't think this will be the way that I wear this bag. You have to undo this like this. You have to do it like this and you have to, it's just a lot and it's a hassle. There's nothing on the inside. It's just cloth on the inside. I wish that the opening was a little bit wider. We're going to pack her before we go to dinner together to see what can fit inside of her. But I don't think I'm going to wear her like this. Just like truth be told, like she's so cute like this. I guess like it's really not that difficult to do this. I just don't really feel like this is very me and this feels like not a handbag. This feels like a small leather good. So it comes with a strap. Do you care to see how I'm doing this or do we not care? We just want to see what the finished product looks like. Here we go. All right. So it's a crossbody bag. I'm not a crossbody bag lover, but I don't know what it is about this. I really like it. So while we were in the store, I actually asked Ashley if they had other straps that I could put on top of it. I tried the gold chain strap that like everyone and their mother has from Fendi. I tried another cloth strap that matched the strap. The straps kind of just like take away from the bag. It matches my belt. So this is my new bag. I love her very much. I wish it was a shoulder bag. And I know you're probably saying like, why did you buy this if you really wanted it to be a shoulder bag? It's so cute, I don't know. It's just, I felt like it's one of those things where I saw it and I tried it and it was just, it's like me in a handbag. You know me, the second that I buy something, I enjoy it because why spend your money on things to not enjoy them? I don't understand the purpose of that, <coughs> Michael, but that's just my vibe. I am loving this lip liner, this eyeliner. No, this eyebrow pencil as a lip liner. Like so many brands are coming out with contour lip liners. You don't need a contour lip liner. Use your eyebrow pencil. I'm telling you. These are the things I would ideally like to fit in my handbag. So let me see if I can somehow film this and 
not look insane. All right, I don't need, okay. I can't bring my Gucci eyebrow pencil as a lip liner, so I'm gonna bring my Charlotte Tilbury because it's smaller. I'll reapply this before we leave. Lip gloss in here too, and somehow kind of just arrange this to be as thin as possible. I don't know, but we're gonna throw her in here. Okay, I'm gonna put my wallet in here. The keys, which I'm gonna take my mace off. It's gonna take up way too much room. Can my phone fit in here with everything else? Yes, yes she can. Sadly, I can't bring Mike's glasses, so we're gonna have to carry those. Let's see how she feels. I'm just like wondering if I can get away with not bringing a lip product, but I don't feel like that's very me. That's not on brand for me. Ignore the fan. We have very random things like a fan, a basketball. I have Mike's luggage down here. I don't know. I may admit that had I had tried to put things in here at the store, I may have a said no to buying this bag, but it's too late now. I need to live with my decision because honestly, I really love her. But like, you're not, like what can you fit in her when you put her like a fortune cookie? Really like that is the question. I don't think I can, I definitely can't bring this. That's a no, hell no. I'm not gonna wear it like that. It's so cute like this though. I'm sweating. You see, this is how I get, this is how I got in the store when I was like trying to decide if I was gonna buy the bag. I'm, oh, I'm forever sweating, especially when it comes to decision-making, even if it's like a stupid decision-making, like buying a handbag. That's not like a major life decision, but why does it feel like it's a life decision? Can I take some things out of it? I don't need my hand cream. I'll take my hand cream out. I don't need my eye drops. I'll take my eye drops out. I kind of do just wanna bring it though so that I don't stain the inside of my bag with like, God forbid this leaking, you know what I'm saying? I don't need a comb because I'm gonna brush my hair in the car before we get out of the car because I have a brush in my car. There's a hack for me to you. I'm gonna bring toothpicks for Mike. I'll bring medicine in case someone has a headache or a stomach ache. Makes a little bit of room. Yeah, it's definitely roomier. That definitely feels better. Keys, wallet, phone. I can technically put my phone in my pants because I'm wearing jeans. Okay, so this is her. Let me know your thoughts down below. I love it. Like, just like the color is so good. I just wish she was like a little bit bigger. I just wish she was a little bit bigger, but I'm excited for dinner. She does feel a little heavy, but this strap is really comfortable. It's not like digging into my skin. Oh, I can't bring my fan though. I'll tell you that. Can't bring her. There's no way. Let me throw all my other stuff in my trusty Gianni Carini. Honestly, I, I would recommend this more than the bag I just bought. I'm just saying. And I know that Gianni was having a big sale. I did post it in YouTube community. So I hope you like, let me know. Did you see that post? White one was on sale. I don't think that they've had this green for quite some time now. Um, they actually, I don't know if I ever told you the story, but quick story time. I saw this bag on like an email that they sent and I clicked it immediately because I was like, that color is amazing. But then when I got to the website, that color wasn't an option. So I emailed them and was like, hello, how dare you send me that beautiful green color in a newsletter and then not actually sell it. And then they emailed me back and they were like, oh, there was a glitch in the system. Basically something had happened on the back end of the website and it wasn't pulling like the green option. Emailed me, immediately they were like, oh, we fixed it. There is the green available. Thank you so much for you know, bringing it to our attention. I went online and I bought this bag and this is like one of the best bags that I own. So much so that I then bought it in white. The story time for this bag was I went to get my belt, obviously. We all saw the belt. We love the belt. I love the belt. There was the cutest like little blue bag that had Fendi prints. It was smaller than this and it had smaller Fs all over it. I will insert a picture if I can find it online, but it was so adorable, but it was just like, top handle bag did have a crossbody, but the way that the crossbody was, it was like crossbody here, here. Just the pure fact that it was like stupid how they did it. Like they could have easily fixed that by just putting the crossbody straps like this, like on each end of the bag. But instead it was like in the middle, it was really weird. But the bag was so cute. Oh my God, it was so cute. And honestly, it was smaller than this bag, but I feel like the way that it was set up, it may have fit more than this bag does. And this is like an every season kind of bag, whereas I feel like the blue was definitely like spring, summer. It was such a pretty, it was so pretty. Again, the crossbody just didn't make any sense. So that is my story time. This is my new bag. I love her. And we're gonna have to come up with a name for her. So if you have any ideas on what to name her, let your girl know. But also I'm gonna show Mike the bag and we will get his opinion on camera because I asked him if he wanted to do the unboxing with me. Oh, here he is, here he is. 
beauty. Do we like it? What a beautiful day. It doesn't fit as much as I thought it was going to fit. Well, he doesn't really seem enthused. Not enthused. Oh, do you need help? There's a lot of mosquitoes out there. We all know what that means. We're not hanging out outside, I guess. Right. No, but seriously, can you... I like it a lot. I like who would have told you to buy it if I didn't like it. That's true. You did tell me to buy it. It's half your fault. Wanna take me home, but I'm I look so cute. Don't you look yes. yes. So cute in here. You look very summery. Do I? Yeah. Look at the fit. Summer. Look at the fit. Do I look like summertime in the Hamptons? Because that's what we're going for. I need to get the Hamptons. Look at oh, I didn't show them my F bomb. Oh, look at all the beach stuff in there. Wow, Italian food, beach. say it's comparable to last night. No? I don't know. Looks good? Yum. Yum yum. Mm.